Lesson 68, The Resurrection of Jesus. In today's lesson we have the greatest moment in all history, which brings hope to all humanity. The resurrection of Jesus is the single most important event to confirm the truth of the Christian gospel and provide us assurance of heaven. Luke is very careful to give us details of that day and how the disciples went from being skeptics to being joyful worshiping believers. When some of the women came to anoint Jesus' body early on Sunday morning, they noticed the stone had been rolled away. And while at the tomb they were encountered by two angels, the angels startled the women and in fear they bowed their heads. The angels said to them, Why are you seeking the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. With this news the women ran back into the city of Jerusalem to report to the apostles what they had seen and heard. When the disciples heard their report, they did not believe them. Not only was the news just too fantastic to believe, but perhaps they thought the women were just exaggerating things because of their sadness and sorrow. Peter, however, wants to investigate for himself, and so he runs to the tomb, and when he enters into the tomb, he discovers the linen cloths that Jesus had been wrapped in, lying there by themselves, and he goes away marveling. Now the scene changes to two other disciples that had been with the apostles and knew about the report of the women. These two were walking to the town of Emmaus, which is about seven miles west of Jerusalem. A man whom they did not recognize joined them as they walked along, asking them what they were talking about and why they were sad. The man who was talking with them was Jesus himself, but they were not able to recognize him. They told their travel companion about Jesus of Nazareth, a great prophet, and how they had hoped he would redeem Israel, but was condemned and crucified and then buried. They also said that some of their company had reported that the tomb was empty earlier in the morning and they had seen a vision of angels who told them Jesus was alive. At this point Jesus began to rebuke them for how slow they were to believe the scriptures. Then he explained how the scriptures foretold about the Messiah being rejected, killed, buried and resurrected. Jesus went through passages in the Old Testament to explain everything to them and how what had happened to Jesus was the fulfillment of all these prophecies. These two disciples were getting the greatest Bible lesson ever and learned that all of the scriptures speak about Jesus and how he is the Lamb of God to take away the sin of the world and also the coming King to reign over all nations. As the travelers approached their hometown of Emmaus, Jesus looked as though he would travel farther, so they invited him to stay with him for the night, because the time was getting late. Jesus went into their home, and when the food was served for dinner, Jesus took the bread and blessed it, and as he did so, the eyes of the two disciples were open and they knew him. He then vanished from their sight. It is interesting how Luke relates this story to us, for we learn that it was when Jesus broke the bread that they were able to recognize him. We cannot be sure why at that moment they would have recognized him, but perhaps it was because it reminded them of when Jesus broke the bread in the upper room to institute the Lord's Supper. Or maybe they saw his wounds in his hands. Whatever the case, suddenly they realized that their dinner guest was none other than the resurrected Jesus. Though the hour was getting late, they knew they could not keep this news to themselves, and so they quickly made their way back to Jerusalem and found the eleven apostles and other disciples and told them about what they had seen and heard. As they reported about their encounter with the resurrected Lord Jesus, Jesus came and stood in their midst. They were all amazed and afraid. Jesus showed them his hands and his feet to prove to them that it was he and that he was raised up from the grave. He also ate some food to show them that he was not a spirit as some of them were thinking but was indeed flesh and bone and that he had been raised up from the grave. 
This remarkable scene was one of amazement and wonder for the disciples. They could hardly believe their eyes, but there was Jesus standing before them whom they had seen tortured, crucified, and buried. Not only was this the greatest miracle they had ever seen, but was also the greatest miracle in history. Jesus overcame death and rose again. This is the basis and foundation for all Christian doctrine and hope. Every Christian must believe that not only did Jesus die on the cross and was buried, but also, and most importantly, that he rose again the third day. It is our faith in the resurrected Christ that assures us of our place in heaven one day. As he rose up from the grave, so we who trust in him shall also be raised out of death to be with him forever in heaven. The great difficulty we meet in this chapter is the disciples struggle to believe. The events are so astonishing to them and they need so much to confirm to them the truth of the resurrection. The report of the women, angels, disciples going to Emmaus all seem just too much to believe, but when Jesus appeared in their midst, they just could not deny what had taken place. He even eats to show them that he has been raised in his body from the grave. After Jesus leads them out of the city as far as Bethany, he blessed them and then ascended back into heaven. The disciples returned to Jerusalem with great joy, praising and worshiping God continually. This is the greatest news ever told to human ears, and I hope that as the Holy Spirit opens your heart to the wonder of the resurrection of Jesus, you too will believe all the scriptures have revealed and find salvation through Jesus. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me. Luke chapter 24 verse 44.